How to connect sampled measured values in the single line diagram in Dixie 5. This video explains you how quickly it is to connect the sampled measured values in the single line editor in Dixie 5. An advantage is that you can have a graphical representation of the sampled value subscriptions and their relation to the primary equipment. Furthermore, it reduces mistakes and increases your speed during the engineering of process bus applications. First, we start Dixie 5 software. Here it is possible to select the single line configuration. There are some prerequisites to connect the sample values in the single line diagram. First, it is necessary to enable some communication protocols in the merging units that is done in hardware and protocols. In the tab protocols under communication, the protocols IEC 61850-9-2 merging unit and IEC 61850-8-1 for GOOSE are enabled. Then, to map the analog values that the device is going to stream via 61850-9-2 protocol, the tab merging unit routing is used. The merging unit protocol permits to send flexible streams based on 61869-9 and light addition streams 61850-9-2 LE. The advantage of flexible streams is that there is a reduction of the bandwidth used in the network. Here, the streams chosen are the flexible streams. In stream 1, the merging unit will send the current measuring and in the second stream a three-phase voltage and a single-phase voltage. In the subscriber side, in this case, the 6MD85, the process bus functionality will be enabled. Here in the Ethernet module ETH-BD-FO under Protocols and Communications, the 61850-9-2 client functionality is enabled. The last point here is to map in the measuring point routing the measurements coming from process bus. The device will receive the information marked in the column process bus client. In this case, the 6MD85 will receive the currents and the voltages for the voltage selection application and synchro check. Now, how can the sample measurement values be connected in the single line diagram configuration? Here is a single line diagram of one station, which is one and a half circuit breaker. There are two bus bars, bus bar 1 and bus bar 2, connected through three circuit breakers. 52 to 1, 52 to 2, and 52 to 3. Basically, there are three areas, one per circuit breaker. Each area has one merging unit, each one with the circuit breaker and its own disconnectors. Merging unit 1 is for this area. The first thing to do here is the connection between the primary equipment and the merging unit. For that the merging unit is expanded. Here in SMV Publisher all the measuring points with the SMV ID and the frequency can be seen. The current measuring point is connected to the current transformer B1. Then the voltage related with line and finally the voltage of bus bar 1. The connection between the publisher to the 6MD85 which act as a subscriber needs to be done. The subscriber is the bay controller 6MD85 that enables the remote control of the circuit breakers and disconnectors. The sampled measured value subscriber are finding here in the 6MD85. The connection from the SMV publisher cut a current 3PH is done with the mouse to current in cut A in the subscriber side. The same is done with the line 1 voltage 3 phase as well as the bus bar AV single phase voltage. Similar procedure is done for merging unit 2. Using the filter function, only the merging unit 2 is showed. First, the primary equipment is connected to the merging unit, Lin, this case there are two current, one per side of the circuit breaker currents. Also, the connection to the voltage transformers in both lines are done, 
first with line 1 and then with the voltage transformer in line 2. Using the filter function, it is possible to display now all device 2. All the connections of the merging unit with the primary equipment are shown, not only for the process bus application, but also the connection of the function group circuit breaker to the measuring point in case there were request in the parametrization. Then a same procedure is done for the last merging unit, merging unit 3 first the connection of the three phase currents, then the connection of the single phase voltage from bus bar 2 and then the three phase voltage from the line. The last step is the connection of merging unit 2 and 3 with the client or subscriber, the 6MD85. Using the filter function, the process bus view is selected. First, the connection of the merging unit 2 to the bay control unit. Starting with the connection of the two currents to the bay control unit. Then the voltages of line 1 and line 2. Now the last merging unit. First, the connection of the currents, always from the merging unit to the subscriber side, and then the voltages from line 2 and the bus bar voltage from bus bar B. This complex configuration was done in a very efficient and faster way. The last step is to export this information to the IEC 61850 station. Right click on IEC station and click on Export Changes to IEC 61850 System Configurator. You can see the goose messages here. For more explanation, see our last video. Here we have the sampled values. There is no connection so far for the sampled values. I click on Sampled Measured Values Mapping Through Topology. And you can see the destinations are now mapped. Now we click on Save. The last step is to import it back into the Dixie project.